We've got over 500 vehicle tests on this channel, and almost all of them have headlight tests. So if you want to see how the lights on your vehicle work, this is the right place to be. Looks like Volkswagen sent us a nice VW Jetta R line with nice red paint. We'll be doing a full test on this later on during the week after a week of driving, but first we want to take the headlights out and see what they do. It's part of our try before you buy segment. A lot of people don't understand European cars as a rule have great headlights on high beams, but there's so many out there that have poor headlights on low beam. And it looks like we got three bulbs on each side. Hard to tell with all the reflection I'm getting in the camera. So let's take them out in the dark and see what they do. See if we're getting our money's worth. Some of that German engineering. Okay, it's dark enough. Let's see what these headlights do. Look pretty bright. These are low beams. And now the high beams. Here's a wall 100 feet away. The high beams on European cars always work great, so we'll try that first. And as you can see, the high beam is doing very well. Go to low beam. Aha. Here we go. Very bright and very, very low to the ground. Typical, I won't say typical German-European because they're all not like that, but too many of them are. Let's go to a longer distance. And here on the streets, again, you see how superior the high beams are on this German car, but on low beam, oh, cuts off in a slight dip. By the way, I like the clock that pops up on the info screen when it's turned off. Can't miss that time. And here's what the rearview camera looks like in the dark. This is a tiny screen, so we don't expect much. I see we picked up some dust on the camera lens, but overall still adequate. You'll see what's back there. That's what counts. And this is a pretty basic car. Not many lights to look at. That's why you're only paying 25 grand. Fine with me. And here we have the brights on a fence 80 yards away. Building is 130 yards away. No problem with the high beams here. Go to low beam. Just barely reaches out. Again, adequate for city driving, but on the backcountry roads, you'll need the brights for sure. Bottom line, high beams. I give them an A+, plus, but low beams, just barely adequate. What the heck do we have here? Something on fire? <coughs> Poisonous gas attack, put on a gas mask coming from that building. Guess we get suffocated here. What the heck are they doing in there? That guy doesn't even have a mask on. <laughs> All right. That concludes the video test. If you want to see the entire one week drive, just go to the end, click and watch. If you like manual transmissions, that's what we got here. Another reason to watch the video if that's what you're into.